Storms caused flooding in several neighborhoods. The flooding didn't only impact homes, but cars too. Uh, Channel 5's Ryan Nelson found out what Valley dealers are doing to steer clear of buying and or selling flood damaged vehicles. Water damaged cars are flooding the market. Today we spoke to a Valley dealer who tells us they go out of their way to make sure these rides never hit their lot. Hurricanes Harvey and Irma destroyed homes, lives, and automobiles. Now flood damaged cars are on the minds of buyers and sellers alike. Faustino Cruz manages a family owned car lot here in the valley. He says they avoid cars coming from flooded areas. Well, we just try to stay away from locations that were affected by, like for the hurricane. And uh, we, we purchase on locations that were mainly um, like uh, Washington, Chicago. Um, North Carolina, locations like that so that we can mainly stay away from that kind of merchandise. Cruz buys his cars at auction. He says they check these cars for telltale signs of flood damage before they place a bid. We check the oil, make sure it doesn't have water in the oil, uh, make sure that the interior doesn't smell uh, like if it's wet, uh, make sure that all the um, instruments inside the vehicle are working fine. If Cruz happens to buy a suspected flood damaged car, he has a backup plan. Auction cars usually fall into one of three categories, green light, yellow light, and red light. Green light cars are considered ready to hit the road and subject to a process called arbitration. The National Auto Auction Association states, if auction determines that the transaction is not fair and ethical to either party, the seller and the buyer agree that auction may cancel the sale at its sole discretion. Sometimes we use that to protect ourselves and to avoid um, any vehicles that are going to give us problems in the future. So like, let's say if it was flooded and it didn't mention if it was green light, we can put it to arbitration and send it back. Cruz encourages all potential consumers to check the Carfax on their potential new rides. Carfax warns consumers to be on the lookout for a process called title washing. This happens when someone leaves flood damage off a car title's history, then tries to sell that vehicle. Carfax recommends asking your dealer specifically if a vehicle was damaged in a flood, then get a clear answer in writing. In the studio, Ryan Nelson, Channel 5 News. We want to remind you what to look out for when checking if a car sustained flood damage. This is a Channel 5 News Extra. Check for rust around the doors, under the dashboard, or on the pedals. Flood damaged cars typically have a distinct odor. These cars may also have new or loose upholstery that doesn't match. Also check the glove compartments and under the seats for mud or silt.